The campaign's in the final fortnight sprint. The Labour leader's old school offering a teenage selfie setup. Even an omen for the would be believer. The bells toll for the Morrison government. <laughs> Study hard and support South. Anthony Albanese with a classroom pitch to address sliding standards. Today's announcement is a really important one. It's about teacher quality. Labor promising 5,000 high achieving students up to $12,000 a year to study teaching. We need to fix that. We're seeing too many students who are being taught by teachers who aren't expert in their subject. We jump in the cockpit. Scott Morrison on the New South Wales South Coast in a must win seat, repackaging an existing plan to replace dozens of Army and Navy choppers. No lift off for the coalition in the latest news poll, Labor entrenching its lead. Its primary support rising slightly to 39%, the coalition falling to 35%, with the ALP commanding 54% for the two-party preferred vote. Men evenly split between the two parties, but women heavily favouring Labour over the coalition. To our panel now, you've you had have supported time. it. Last night's shouty second leader's debate unlikely to have shifted votes. Excuse me, I think we're getting more questions between the two of you than our panel. No authority this is a very you're important making point. point. No, Mr Morrison, Mr Albanese, that's government. enough. I think Australians um, expect spirited debate. Scott Morrison didn't have anything to say except shouting. One of the debate and campaign flashpoints, stagnant wages. The Labor leader unwilling to guarantee real wage growth, that is wages rising faster than inflation. Our clear objective is to lift up living standards. That's our objective. There's no magic pen from Anthony Albanese that makes your wages go up. Businesses can make wages go up. It was about this stage in the 2019 election campaign that Scott Morrison began to close the gap with Bill Shorten in the polls. That's not happening this time around. Labor knows Anthony Albanese's not been the slickest campaigner, but is encouraged by its best ever online fundraising, already double the effort three years ago. So get ready for even more attack ads from both sides. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.